Oh, Leo. Oh, Song of the Clan for you is what? Back to back. Not again. Not again. So you may be, it's just like, you may be in a situation where it's just back to back bullshit going on. Something happening over and over again. Or you just like, you, you feel like you're getting over one hurdle just to meet another hurdle or meet another issue or meet another situation. And it's like, you're like, God damn, hold on. Something's weighing heavy on your conscience. And it's just like you're going through shit back to back. If it ain't one thing, it's another type situation. Or you just feel like a situation you you don't want to involve yourself in anymore because you realize something's false. Whether someone was taken from you or you were taken from someone. And you realize something's just like, oh. You feel me? You may not want to, you may want to separate. You may not want to participate in the space no more. But you, it's like you can't not participate in it. Because you gave your feelings to it. Or you want to give your feelings to someone. Or someone wants to give their feelings to you. Because you don't like the foundation that's... That what... <laughs> that you're involved in. Drake, you too loud, bro. Hold on. Look, you're stressing out over something. If someone's stressing out over you, you in your head about something. You're thinking about something. Whether someone says something to you or you express something to someone and you wish you didn't say what you said. Or you wish someone didn't say what they said. Or someone said something to you and it was a lie but you ran with it. Or you said something to someone and it was a lie but you ran and you ran with it. You didn't walk away from something you were emotionally invested in that you should have walked away from. Now you don't know how to heal the situation. Look, you don't know how to heal something that would you being expressed in a negative way or you're, how you're being seen in regards to how you express yourself is not negative because of something you did. Or, or someone is not being seen in a positive light in regards to how they express themselves be, from you. You feel me? You're not looking at someone the same because something happened and it's like something can't, you can't heal. You can't get over or get past whatever this was now. You feel me? It's like, no, I don't want to heal it type shit. We can't heal it type shit. All speculation, though. First card out, yeah, yep, yeah, no, nope, no. Nah. You don't look the same the same. Love is in reverse. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You don't got to be. But you see, you internally know the truth about something. It's like you see something and you can't heal what you... It's like now that you see something, you can't heal something. You're not in love with something the same way you used to be in love with something. You feel me? Whether it's an idea, you're not as passionate about this idea or you're not as passionate about this business endeavor. Look, you want to let it go or you realize you need to let something go or you it's like you gained an awareness. Look, slam the door. You need to slam the door on whatever this is. If it's a person, then it's a person. Something you manifested back when you was in your negative energies or in your lower energies or you were just negative in totality. Your mind and the people you involved yourself with were negative or just not beneficial to who you were or helping you, assisting you in your growth and or assisting each other in growth. You feel me? So now it's like that bled onto you. So you were manifesting using those energies and when you manifest using those energies in that type of environment, in that type of mind frame, your mind, your mind only reflects with, it's, your reality only reflects your mind and since your mind is on negativity, your reality reflected that. So you, but you, and you manifested a, some back-to-back -back bullshit. Now you want to slam the door on that shit because you're not in love with that shit no more. You don't like the lifestyle you're living in. You don't like the mentality you're living in. You don't like the friends you got. You don't like the, just the ideas you're coming up with. You don't like the space you're in anymore. Look, someone doesn't want you to call judgment on something or you call or you not calling judgment on something you need to call judgment on. Because it's like you you may not be it's like, you know, you don't like the space you're in, but you may not be being honest with yourself or if someone outside of you is not being honest with you. So you don't call judgment. If it's you versus you, then some you are being. It's like you're trying to be controlling or you just like being controlling. You're not being honest in how you, in the thing you are investing yourself in. You don't like what you're doing, but you're still doing it almost. You feel me? If this is you versus someone outside of you, then someone outside of you is lying to you in order to keep you stuck in the situation that you want to let go of. Someone's trying to control you. You don't have to let me know though. Song that is playing. Look, slam the doors. 
If you were Leo and you're watching this, you need to slam the door on the situation and never let that situation come back. Whatever it is, because something's using you. It's like you think something is true. Something is projecting itself as the high priestess. But it's not. It's like false false expression some in some way, shape, or form is keeping you from calling the judgment or making the judgment you need to make. Yeah, you stuck in your head, what I told you. It's like some if if this if it's you dealing with someone, yeah, in regards to a foundation. It's like something or someone is keeping you in a mental state or just a space of feeling a certain type of way in order to keep you from moving. You feel me? Cause this is what you wanna do. Three of wands. But this is what you think about when you do, when you think about going in this direction. Even though you know you're not satisfied or you're you're not you're you're not fulfilled in the space you're in, whatever space you're in right now, you want to let that go. That's what you think about. That's what's on the consciousness. You don't like what you what you're investing your time into. You want to let go of these thoughts. Or I need to let go of these thoughts, these feelings, these people. I need to separate myself from this space I am currently in in order to expand or grow in some way, shape or form. Now, that space may be holding on to you in, in a certain in some way, shape or form, keeping you trapped in that space. But see, the thing is, it is you in that space. So whether this is you being false to yourself so you were looking in the mirror, lying to yourself, telling you, telling you, telling you, you can't. And since you're telling you, you can't, you're believing you can't. Or this is someone outside of you lying to you in order to keep you in this space. Stuck. Someone that's playing for you, going bad. See something going bad for you. That or you think something's going to go bad. Yeah, look, something going bad. Something ain't the same no more. I'm telling you, cause you focus, you you thinking long term now. Whatever you thinking about, you you not you what whatever you thinking about is putting down your problems. You, you thinking the best way to put down my problems is to separate myself from this space because when I think about this situation in the long haul, this ain't it for me," said Leo. Whatever you invest in your time and energy into, whether it's a job, whether it's friends, whether it's a relationship, mindset, routine, pattern, habit, you know you don't want to be doing something for a long time, but something in that space that you are participating in, whether you're addicted to something, it could be a substance or a person, okay? Something you share this space with is deceiving you in order to keep you stuck. Look. Expressing your emotions in a negative sense. It's like someone could see you fucked up about something. And it's they trying to they trying to it's like they trying to keep you away from what you fucked up about. Hey you guy, you yo your friends might not be your friends. If 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 it's that type of scenario, that's for somebody. Your friends might not be your friends. Be honest with you. Yeah, you need to hold back communication from this friend group. Because whoever you celebrating with is really the people keeping you stuck. Watch who you tell your business to. I'm going to fuck with you. <laughs> 